Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to to episode 11 of I Got to One Parade. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. At first, I thought this was the Christmas episode, but the Christmas episode is not even this week. It would have been better to just really have the Christmas episode come out this week, but I, I get it. But still. Wait, hold on. Isn't this the episode that freaking Laura is supposed to be in, officially? <laughs> My baby. Because the only girls that were officially meeting, um, I mean, oh, yeah. <laughs> meeting are the Dream Academy girls. Mm -hmm. Thank you for finally, like, talking about that. Jesus Christ. Now you just need Ichigo. <laughs> okay, so I'm kind of hoping that today is the episode that, like, Sarah and the rest of the Dream Academy girls come in. Because freaking, I want to see Sora. Sora is one of my, like, she, Sora is hella under mother effing rated i want yurika and kaede to also pop up in this dang show because i you know i said it ever since last week we are 11 episodes in officially as of today you know for me watching it but where the heck are certain characters i understand that the way they've ended like their arc for whatever season it was for each show that they're essentially gone and there may be, you know, traveling or whatever. But it still would be nice that this show would kind of be like, oh, hey, well, we're such and such. Oh, well, she's doing this. Or, oh, she's doing that. But then at the same time, you kind of have to remember for yourself. Because my thing was, where the heck was Laura? And then somebody, like, one of my subs is a really close friend of mine, um, freaking came on and said, Deja, like, Laura's gone. She's in New York. Or this person's this way, or over here, or over there, like, things like that, and I really wish that the characters would address that, because, you know, it, it would be nice, but, I, you know, I understand, you know, Time Crunch, it's a 30-minute episode, and it's, you ain't got time to say, oh, well, such and such is here, and such and such is there, but still, it would be nice. I just need all my cool girls, all my cute girls, my passion girls, whatever girls, my gothic girls, I need them all to meet together and just, oh, be so good. I did see some of the Dream Academy dresses, so they're there. Of course she is. <laughs> no, my 
Oh my god! Oh. Of course it would just be a second thing. Oh my god! It would have been so much better if we got to see him, like, talk instead of just shoving pictures. Also, I'm craving hot chocolate, too. Maybe I'll make some after. Where is your sister? It's probably set up. Could be Laura, too. Freaking finally, oh my god. Just to hear her again, freaking what's her name? Oh, oh my god! Yeah. That's not the name of one of your songs?
Yeah, because it's so weird to hear like Sarah's voice actress because I've seen her in so many freaking things now. How she was in Kitty Cut a Pretty Girl Alamo, which I couldn't believe until I looked, but it's just so awesome just to see them as characters that we saw way before they got into other characters itself. There we go there. Oh my god. You know what I honestly thought? I thought they were going to perform um, <clears throat> that other song that they did against Double M where they wear the Gemini outfit, but I still love this song too. Don't get me wrong. It's a good freaking behind song. And it was one of the best songs that like kind of opened season two, even though it was like the, we didn't hear the song for a long time, but like hearing Seta like open in the dang show with her freaking rock version of Idol Activities, like that's when we all knew that season two was going to be hella different than season one. I mean, the biggest thing is I remember, like, watching it, I always wanted a rock idol, and then you came and sent me in season two, and I was just like, yes, thank you! Uh. I miss this girl so freaking much. I love her! <laughs> She's so underrated. Between her and Akko, like, oh my god. And my best girl, Mahiru. Like, Mahiru, oh my god! <laughs> the best girl! Oh my god, these stars! My freaking best girl! Oh my god. And mostly because all my freaking subs, well, two of my subs always tell me, I always like the sexy idols. And I'm like, yeah, in a way, that's true, because, I mean, the sexy ones. Because I'm always typically into the older ones who act very mature, but I am still into the cute ones too. Stop, please. It freaking hurts. Like, ah, oh, makes me miss this too in a relationship.
you were in Spitfire? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, it would make the most sense because we know Rocky's going to be with those two, and I think you two are going to go together. That's a pretty stage. This got this has gotta be a new song. You know what I'm kind of hoping that they do with this show? You know how in the game when Ichigo and akari chan finally like had their unit together? I still want to see that because, I mean, with the game, yeah, it's... Would, would we say it's canon? I mean, I think it would be in my own special way, but it really just depends on Bankai and Namco and how they want to do it. But, um... If you all remember, the day Aikatsu ended, OG Aikatsu, second season, or really fourth season with Akari time and how it ended and then you saw freaking Akari Chan and Ichigo as a unit together and we didn't get to see their song and then the game got it and it was just like god dang like you still wanted to see like a 3D render of a music video for it and then it never happened. I mean this is the chance that they could do all those songs from the game and put it in I Cut to Parade. I think it would be a really good idea, especially for people who didn't have a chance to play the game because I, I played the game, but because I was so busy with so many other idle games, because I play a lot of games, idle games in, in general, but um, I didn't have time to really continue. And then by the time I really truly wanted to get into the series, I found out that the game was discontinued and that they were shutting it down. And that happened, I think, between I Cut Two Stars and I Cut Two Friends, which was one of the saddest things ever. So the last few songs that were on there were mostly um, I Cut Two Stars for, um, songs, and there was nothing else for them. So that's kind of the things that I'm hoping, because I want to see um, S4 sing the new S4 song and ish like that. But this song was good, too. I, it's just, 
it's one of the many things that I think probably a lot of other people like myself want to see. <laughs> Stop, Laura. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Was it just Laura? Hmm? Also, please, let Ichigo and him finally get together in this series, please. Oh, my God, because there's so much sexual tension between them. Hell, have M4 come in this? Because we haven't seen M4. Bro, I can't. Oh, my God. I still need freaking the, oh my god, what, like, okay, so Bang Dream is freaking doing, I'm gonna say this real quick, Bang Dream is doing, like, a male version of Bang Dream, and I need them to do a freaking anime for it, I don't know if they're doing a game, but I think they're doing an anime, but girl, I need it, like, a freaking sap, I need a, another boy band anime besides freaking, um, what's his face, because, girl, because that was the yaoi. The yaoi band boy. <laughs> boy band. I need a regular old boy band series so I can fangirl it is every single week like I did with freaking What's His Face. Like, oh my god. Uh, this song is so good. They could do a spin off with them. They could do the same thing with M4. I want that. I really, really want these next few years for idols for especially idol animes to have more boy idol animes whether it's a boy band or it's a mother effing idol group or it's just a band with instruments and guys in it that's all i want because i mean they're doing really good on it but i think they do a little bit better i'm just saying but that's just me Bruh, we about to hear Merry Christmas from all these damn idols, and I am so ready for this. <laughs> I don't want to see... If they make it where it's like they all go on stage at the same freaking time, because either they're going to have like five separate stages and such, or they're going to have one giant behind stage, and they're all going to be dancing, and you go going to hear, we wish you Merry Christmas, and I'm just going to be like, I ain't ready for it, and it's gonna be so good. But just seeing, like, all these girls, oh my god, I'm not ready for it. But it ain't, the thing is, it ain't gonna be every single fucking girl from this damn series. Like, because of the fact is, Laura's not gonna be there, because I'm guessing this is one episode. One of the many episodes that Laura will officially come, but then you gotta think of Kaede, Eureka, um, and then anyone else who I left out, because there's so many freaking girls that I really, really, really want to see connect with other girls. And I hope that they do them justice. Like, they're doing so many other girls justice that it's not even funny. But then you gotta sit here and think about any other girl who did not get a lot of screen time in their series and this. Because this is when literally any girl from any of the Aikatsu series can have a better screen time than they did in their first series. I'm talking about Akko, I'm talking about Kaede, I'm talking about Yurika, because Yurika did get the stuff that she needed in season one and in season two because we had Dream Academy. Um, 
it essentially flew uh fell flat i will say um for dream academy it's every girl except seta because seta did get the most screen time um out of the four i would say for i cut two stars besides akko um koharu i mean but koharu really is um yume's designer but i you know how like we got to see her a couple times in like the 3ds stuff but i still want to see it more and it's a possibility for her to be in a unit um s4 either whether it's the first generation or i think it's the 27th or 28th generation um because you still want to see those girls together whether they graduated or not and stuff essentially so on because you still want that chemistry and everything because we got to see it with the previous generation of s4 but i still want to see the newer generation of s4 um do their stuff because the three the three who essentially became the for uh, the 28th version are still the 29th and we have a new girl in it because yuzu is officially graduated and she went to high school but i don't know i mean it could go either way but i just hope that like you know maybe 10 or 20 episodes from this episode so Maybe, I want to say about episode 30. I'm going to say that for now. I kind of hope that every girl gets the screen time that she needs. That they get to have a moment. Because it still feels empty. Even though it still feels like all these girls are here. It still feels a little weird. Because of the fact is, there's so many other girls that are still essentially missing from this series. And, you know, you're on Twitter or Tumblr or whatever. And you're asking around and wondering where these characters are yet. And people are like, probably either... Bankai don't really give a shit about them anymore, or Bandai, Bandai is waiting for a certain time for them to come up, because we had to wait, um, essentially 11 episodes for not only the Dream Academy girls, well, one of, one of three, um, uh, well, no, one of four, because the other three are going to be there next week, you had to, <laughs> to finally see Laura and her sister, um, Noelle, but then you also had to wait a while to see Raichi, Ichiko's brother. You had to see a while to see Ichiko's mom, um, headmistress, um, Orihime, all these characters. And then it's like, how many episodes am I going to have to wait to see Kayere? How many episodes am I going to wait to see Sakura? How many episodes am I going to have to wait to see Yurika? Um, any other character who I really can't remember right now, like the squirrel girl who I loved so freaking much. There's so many freaking characters that are in that have taken their shine, like, Madoka has been, she had, like, one voice moment with, uh, Rin, or, uh, Ray, but I think the one other girl who, um, the dancing idol, her, and then that was it, because that was the Halloween episode that they did with, um, freaking, uh, Starlight Academy and such, but I'm like, when are they gonna get here? When are they gonna have their own special freaking episode? But I get it. It's so many freaking idols and there's so little time, but who knows? Other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 11 of my Katsu on Parade. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all either next Sunday for episode 12 or next Monday. Let me go ahead and say this now, even though I'm probably gonna be saying this next week too. Um, happy early Christmas, happy holidays. I hope you guys have a fantastic Christmas spending time with your friends, your family. Happy New Year, early New Year, even though it ain't there yet, because I'm going to be busy next week and coming into January, since I've told a lot of people, and I'll say it again, I am officially moving and such, and so I'm just going to be very, very busy. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!